Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 10. And this tutorial is gonna be another little quick uh, time-lapse. So uh, if we take a look at the time-lapse here, I started off by uh, adding in a big blue block. So this is our primary colored block and I was just getting the spacing right. Uh, and what I thought I'd do here is uh, introduce the customer to our team. So you see, I spent a couple minutes just getting the columns right. So I wanted to have a three column, uh, I wanted to have three columns in my block, but because 10 doesn't really divide into three so easily, I, uh, I spaced those out to, to nine columns and then I just stretched them to fit the 10th. Uh, and then I added in a heading, so meet the team. And I thought that would be like the coolest thing or the, one of the best things to show the user as they move over to the about page is just to see who they're going to be dealing with, who they're going to be talking to. Uh, so it's nice and personal. And um, yeah, I'm just using images from Pixabay. So I don't know who these people are. Uh, I just grabbed the images off, off of Pixabay and decided to use those for uh, this section. And for the last column, I thought I'd just use somebody familiar. And uh, then I decided to get the sizing right for all of these because I thought that those images were just a little bit too big. And then filling in the names uh, and the filler content, I didn't really want to focus on, you know, being really creative. I uh, just threw some names in there and uh, then pasted in some lorem ipsum. Right, so it was as simple as that. Uh, getting the meet the team section done uh, was only adding those three columns. And now I needed to move those over to the mobile design. So I just wanted to make sure that everything works and fits on mobile as well. So here I am adding in the heading and just getting that spaced out correctly. It doesn't have to be 100%, but as long as it's uh, close enough. And then just getting in my first team member, making sure that that's all correct. And then copying over the rest of the team members and spacing them out correctly. So I opted for circle images because UIKit has a class that can instantly turn any image into a circle. Uh, but the CSS for that is quite simple as well. It's uh, as simple as adding in a class called image circle and then just uh, giving that a property of border radius 50%. And then the next uh, section, I thought I'd uh, let the customer know why they should choose or why they should travel with our company. So why would you travel with Link? Uh, we're safe, we're fun, and uh, we're affordable. Those were the three uh, points I really wanted to drive home. I guess this is all just dummy content anyways. I wasn't focused on you know, really coming up with something uh, factual. And here I am just grabbing in some icons. So I thought we'd uh, just make use of icons for each one of these blocks. It's, uh, it's actually quite amazing how if you just keep everything simple, one icon with a bit of text uh, and a plain old background color, uh, keeping it simple makes it look good. Although sometimes in, in an attempt to make something look good, we get a little bit too creative with colors and we start throwing in more colors than are actually needed or we throw in more images than are what are actually needed 
to try and make a design look interesting uh, but keeping it simple actually keeps it clean and interesting anyway. And for my last block on the home page, or the About Us page rather, uh, I thought I'd just add in a gallery. So my idea or my thinking behind this was that we'd have images of each one of our team members in all of the locations where we're offering holidays. And uh, this would just try drive home to the user that we have tried and tested our own product. And uh, because we've tried and tested our own product, we know what the quality is like. So uh, that's what I wanted to kind of uh, give the impression of here. Uh, I suppose I should have also added in a paragraph of text that just says we've been, or we've tried all of our holidays and we know you'll enjoy them, something like that. Uh, but uh, I mean, my main goal was just to add in a gallery somewhere uh, so that it would, uh, it would be useful or I could show you guys how to actually use a gallery in a UI kit. So here I am just spacing and sizing everything out correctly. And then I started moving my gallery over to the mobile design, but instead of uh, keeping all the images, I, I thought I'd save a little bit of time here and uh, just get the idea right. So instead of using all eight of my images, I think I just landed up using the four and deleting the other four. And uh, that was basically my design done. So all I had to do now was uh, get my footers in place and take one last look over the design. Uh, so that's pretty much what they look like mobile compared to desktop. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a like, comment and share this video because it's all that's all gonna help my channel grow. Uh, but before I end this video off, I wanna send a huge shout out to my current patrons. These guys contribute a little bit of money every month to uh, help me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you like the content I create and you want to help me make more of this content more often, the best way to do that is to become a patron. And if again, if you feel that this is a valuable service and you like seeing these videos, uh, consider becoming a patron and I'll see you guys next time.